Okay, so I took a shot. You'll notice that the laser didn't quite hit uh, where the lens is. So I'm going to take the tape off. There are three screws, one on the left, one on the right, and one kind of in the back, which is hard to see. I'll loosen those up, and then you'll, I'll pull the laser head forward and see if I can't uh, align the laser head. I apologize, my... My hand's kind of getting in the way, making it a little bit difficult to see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it forward just a little bit. And I am going to uh, re-tighten the screws. I'm going to put another piece of tape on. And then I'm going to do another test fire. All right, so here I go. And sorry, you can't see me pushing the test fire button. And that actually was centered quite good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten up the position, I'll tighten the screws up so it's uh, more permanent, won't move, and uh, that's about it for uh, aligning the lens. It's not too hard. And let's go on to our next step. Okay, so I'm going to hit the test fire button on the laser. I put a piece of tape down so I can see where it hits. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, before I uh, install the software, I'm going to show you. This is a 1.6 gigahertz machine. I guess the software can run, it says on 100 megahertz. This is just an old machine I had lying around in a nice little monitor. This is going to work great. I do have the parallel port version. There is a, uh, um, a USB version, but I opted for the parallel port version. Okay, so now we're going to install Newly Draw. First, make sure your dongle is plugged in or Newly draw will not work. I guess I should mention I'm running Windows XP, 1.6 gigahertz processor, uh, 768 megabytes of RAM, so not much. Okay, so I've stuck in the CD, and in a moment it will come up and should come up. There it is. Okay, you got some obscure letters. Uh, that's because I probably don't have the Chinese pack loaded, but I don't read Chinese anyway. Go ahead and click the two left question marks on this screen. And it's installed. And, matter of fact, it just put an icon up here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There you go. Newly draw has been installed. Now, if you for some reason don't get your shortcut automatically, go to my computer, go to C drive, go to NSD1ENU, scroll down, there it is, newly draw. You can uh, click on that to start it or you can drag, right, if you right mouse click on the icon, drag it down to, the, to your desktop, let go, then it'll ask you if you want to create a shortcut and you, send, you would say click uh, create shortcut, you would click your left mouse button and now you have a shortcut. Okay, but let's go ahead and run Newly Draw. Yay! Okay, we're working. Okay, so next, uh, let's take a quick look at uh, the setup. Okay, so this machine comes standard with 300 by 200 millimeters. You can also select inches if you want. Now what I like to do is hit File, Save As, so I will call it, uh, I'm just going to write over it, but you would type right in here the name of your table, and then hit Save. It's asked me if I would like to overwrite my existing table, since I already have one. Well, I'm going to say yes. Okay, so your table is saved. Every time you um, open, uh, start, the, uh, start the program, you will want to open that, uh, that file. Okay, so I'm going to get out of the program. I'm going to start it again. And again, it's forgotten my parameters, but if I go up to File, 
open table 300 by 200. Double click it. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to uh, learn a little bit more about the settings in uh, Newly Draw. Uh, setting up your table and your laser cutting speed, etc. So here we go. That's our next step. Okay, so go ahead and click on this little uh, lightning bolt next to the printer. And it's going to bring up some properties. Now in the properties you're going to see a few things. Uh, it actually has the DCK0III or 43 laser already selected. Um, there are no more drivers. That's it. Now there is no separate drivers program. This pretty much is the driver. You will print from here. Uh, you, will, you will etch from here and cut from here. You can bring in pictures from other programs, which is what I like to do because this program is very limited. Um, but let's go to properties. Now the properties has the scan speed. It's from 1 to 99, and that's for etching. And you also have your cut speed. Now, unfortunately, with this model, it does. there's only one cut speed. It, I can change this to 99 or change it to 1, and it stays exactly the same speed. Um, you can go to device. If you click this, it'll go to the top left. Alright, so we're at the top left. I'm clicking OK. OK, so right here it says X zero millimeters, Y zero millimeters. Um, again, if you click that, that is going to take you to the top left of the screen. And you've already heard that. You also have your move your head left, move your head right, move your head up, move your head down. I can do that too. As I do that, it's actually going to change and tell you where you are on the screen on your X and your Y. And I'll show you why that's important in a moment. So let's go ahead and etch something. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a piece of wood in. Okay, the way they set this up is really cheesy. They don't really even give you all this area. This is the area you can engrave in, which is about three and a half inches. You set your piece of wood about a quarter of the inch down, clamp it down, and uh, now we're ready to etch. I'm going to move the laser head by going, uh, I'm still on that screen that allows me to move the head. And I'm going to position, and I'm going to position the laser head roughly over the area that I want this to start. Oh, but wait, we have a problem. We have nothing to etch. So let's close this window and let's type in something. If you go to the top of your screen, there's a place where you can click text. Okay, so you click on your text button, click on your page, and let's type something. Say, my laser. Hit enter. Voila. Right now I am in scan mode, which means it will etch. You can also switch it to vector mode by selecting to cut. So I'm going to select to scan, and now we're going to go up here to the engrave option. And we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and uh, laser cut this. Okay, before I etch, I'm going to show you something. You have two options. You can go to full page mode or not full page mode. If you do the uncheck the full page mode, the laser will just start engraving at the coordinates where your head currently is. If you click the check on, then it's going to laser etch where the image is according to the page. So let's go ahead and uh, start engraving. Engrave.